Hi everybody, we're Martini Garden. Nice to see everyone. We're doing a song called Give a Little Love. It's not hard to learn When you give a little love you get some in return Even when life should take a wrong turn When you give a little love you get some in return Everybody needs somebody No man's an island on his own Friends, listen to me When you show a little love, that's what you'll receive All it takes is one step at a time Soon there'll be no mountains you can't climb Everybody needs somebody Hello and welcome to the Martini Garden Acoustic Cafe Hour how is everybody today in TV internet land? Um, we're here with a few wonderful guests and my fan. Hi, host. everyone. And um, we're going to just give you a little update on Martini Garden since our little show here is a little based on my band, Martini Garden. And just let you know what we've been doing the last week. We've been kind of busy. And um, so I have a few uh, pictures to show you guys. For those of you that are on Facebook, I'm sure most of you are. Anyway, um, the first one I'm going to show you is um, a picture of us, mm -hmm. which was a toga party. That looks fun. Yeah, it was a lot <laughs> of fun. And it's funny because Miriam, the backup singer, she's like, there's no way I'm wearing a toga. <laughs> and this was Saturday. We went to Kapler's um, for that toga party with Big Daddy Sizzling Jams. And we'll be back there on... Um, next Saturday, August 3rd, for an acoustic night, but no togas. Aww. And um, the next one is we went to Port Jeff. Yeah, there you go with the tent, the number two. Um, we went to Port Jeff at the farmer's market, which is beautiful. And you were there, yeah. actually. Yeah, I stopped by her. Um, and that was, was a lot of fun. Too. And Chas was, oh, was there. <laughs> and uh, we had a great crowd. And we'll be there like five more times this summer into fall, actually. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. It was really cute. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a nice day, too. It actually cooled down. That yeah. was the night, the day that it had cooled down. Um, and then the next thing I want to talk about a little bit is we went to 89 North with not only Martini Garden, but Panda Fan mm -hmm. and Rebel Fish, who's been on this show as that well. That was really fun as well. And that was fun. That was last night. So these are some pictures from last night. That's Panda That's Fan nice. That's and Rebel, Rebel Fish, Fish, which is Willie. Yes. Willie was on our show. And they did a great job, great sound. And that's Nicholas. I want to pause Aww. on Nicholas for a second. He is our, our um, nephew and your cousin. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I know. You <laughs> seem older than you are. Um, and he's 12 years old. And he is an incredible drummer. He's got a gift. He, like, rocked out last night, too. He really like, did. Like, he was amazing. He's just a natural. It's crazy. And then, of course, you have Martini Garden. Woo! And then... Um, you have a picture with me and Mr. Dan Welsh. He is the one that's part owner of 89 North and, um, you know, was nice enough to have us all on. And he asked us back sometime in the fall, which um, we'll be excited about. And then there's your And then host, the girls. The girls <laughs> that were rocking. And we kind of tried to post that to Facebook. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on um, Martini Garden. <laughs> And what we're doing. And we're also going to be at uh, August 4th at St. Rosalie's um, Church Festival. Uh, it's like a music fest on August 4th. Um, we are the band that's playing. We're playing there for like an hour. So um, that's the news. We're really excited to bring you Christine Sweeney today and Kevin Burke, Barrel House. Um, great music coming up. And it just keeps flowing. So we're real excited here at the Cafe Hour to share that with everyone. And um, we're going to go to a quick break, and then we're going to interview them. So we'll be right back. Hey, 
Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Babies come from? Uh, oh, well, there's a. Uh, th th there's that yeah, big, shiny rocket ship. That's right, it's filled with babies. Babies of all kinds. And when the shiny rocket ship penetrates, mommy, dad goes. Uh, oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, and when the time is just oh. right, there's a space launch. All systems go. Babies of all kinds. Released all over the place. Yeah, Africa. Uh, well, mom needs babe. Welcome back to the Acoustic Cafe Hour here every Friday at Madhouse TV Studios, 8 o'clock. And we're here, we're going to meet Miss Christine Sweeney. Um, this is our CD which I'm really excited about. I heard some of her music online. It was really such a nice sound. So um, I just want to ask you, how did you get started with music? How old? Uh, <laughs> how old was I? I mean, I started mimicking sounds because I was obnoxious <laughs> when I was really, really young. And then my mom bought me a keyboard. I have no idea, maybe six years old or uh -huh. eight. I, I'm probably wrong. She'll. <laughs> She'll set the record straight. She knows what I am. Um, and then when I was in junior high, I started taking guitar lessons. So I've just been doing music in some capacity for a very long time. That's wonderful. Yeah. I love it. And then you, did you start off writing right away? Kind of. I mean, um, you know, I started to learn how to play the piano, and then I took music in school, so I started to read. But it wasn't really until junior high school it was, I think, the summer before ninth grade or the summer before eighth grade that I started to take guitar lessons. And after a few months of that, when I was playing real songs, you know, with several chords in them, then I started to write my own songs. I was like, oh, I can do this. Whatever. Nice. So I did, you know. And um, the rest is history, and I've been writing and writing. Wow. And then this is your, I guess this is an EP, right? Yeah. It has five songs on it. Yeah, it was recorded live at the Bitter End in cool. um, August, so it's almost reached its birthday. Very excited. Very nice. And um, my band started forming like this year, just after that project had happened. 
And uh, I, I said to a friend of mine, Dave, who's now my keyboard player, hey, do you ever, you know, do stuff? And he's like, yeah, I do <laughs> stuff. Kind of stuff? <laughs> you want to, you want to, whatever? So I had this show coming up and I said, so awesome. uh, no, it was much less silly than that. But I said to him, I would love to have you perform with me. Maybe, you know, if you'd like to get together. And we decided to, you know, learn the songs and jam. And we had such a great time. And then, you know, he said to me, he's like, this was really fun. I want to keep doing this. And then yeah. everything fell into place. Um, my bass player, Mike, had been nagging me forever to get a band. And then I met um, my drummer, Gabriel, at a gig, a random Love gig. It. Love and it. he gave me his card. And he's like, I want to work with you. Great. Let's make it happen. And it just, wow. just fell into place. So that CD is like really the, the beginning of our band, even though it's only one member on it. It's kind of That's cool and now so cool. and now we're talking about recording our own like full project at least full band I don't know if it's going to be an EP or you know an LP More but than that. it'd be great that is wonderful yeah. what a great story and you're calling yourselves Christine Sweeney or are you gonna think of a name Christine or? Sweeney and the Dirty Stay Outs <laughs> I love <laughs> it oh, that's great. good you get it okay good yeah, yeah. sometimes I say to, to the like the younger kids and they're like what <laughs> I say that all the time. I love it. <laughs> but when I used to come home late at night, it wasn't even that late. My right. mom would be like, you dirty, stay out. Yeah. <laughs> she would always be like, I love you. Go to bed. <laughs> and it's just so funny. And actually, That's Mike awesome. um, Mike came up with that before I did. We had this joke that um, if we came up with like a silly turn of phrase, we would say, Christine Sweeney and blank, blank, blank we were trying to figure out a band name. Mm -hmm. So we'd be at the bar and he'd go, Christine Sweeney and the, ch the cherry jar. And, <laughs> and then we'd all have a good laugh. Ha ha, that's a bad name. And, uh, you know, one day he just said, Christine Sweeney and the Dirty Stay Outs. And he goes, and you're like, I like hmm. that. <laughs> hmm, that's good. That's light, that was a light bulb moment. Oh, yeah, it was great. We, and we all looked at each other like, okay. it's a good one. That could work. Now, were you recently at a show? Was that last night I noticed your post? Uh, or... Yes. Okay. Yes. I was at, um, I was supposed to be in Seaford at this like, seaside restaurant, completely outdoors. I get there, one, it's the only cold day in July. Right. <laughs> so I'm already cranky. <laughs> <laughs> the place was called Crabby Amy's, which was very appropriate for my, <laughs> my attitude at the time. I was like, oh, I have to be outside. <laughs> so Amy calls the, the venue and she says, hey, do you want to move up the block instead to my other bar that I own? She owns Jackson Roadhouse. Oh, neat. And I said, hell yes. It's indoors. There's people. And I got to tell you, it was an amazing gig. I had such a good time. Everyone was so receptive to my music. I played my entire CD. Nice. I played all of my new songs. Good. Some of them I played twice because oh, I had wow. run out. I had played them already in, you know, in the beginning yeah. of yeah. the evening. And they were like, play it again. We don't care. <laughs> Oh, that's it wonderful. Was, it was just so great. That's it's great when everyone happens. was really nice, and it had, I had a great time. Now, um, when you do your stuff, mm -hmm. do you throw in covers? I mean, cause I know our band, was kept, we were told, throw in some covers, hook people in. Yeah. You can't just keep. Yeah, What kind definitely. of covers do you do? I'm just curious. Um, I'm all over the place. I mean, I cover, like, Led Zeppelin, Jamaica. I cover... Steal My Kisses by Ben Harper. I love that I song. I cover some A.T. Tunstall songs because oh, she's, she's awesome. She's great, too. Yeah. Awesome. One, day I, one day I hope she will tweet me back because I love her. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. Um, just a lot of different things, you right. know. Right, Wide right. variety. Cool. So this is great. Is this available other than hard copy? Yeah, you can available? actually, um, if you search for Christine Sweeney on iTunes, you can find that CD as well as a couple of podcasts that I've been on. Very nice. I was featured on Acoustic Long Island. Yes. So that was Very so fun uh, with Seth Glear. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, Grammy nominated. Great guy. Massachusetts, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. also Katie Perlman, another Long Island oh, yeah. local. Oh, no, yeah. And that was a great show. And you can actually, you know, download that on iTunes. That's so if you just wonderful. search for my name, you'll find me. <laughs> You're such a doll. Oh my oh, God. Oh gee. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are really excited to have you here today. Thank you. And can't wait to hear you. I'm actually um, performing one of the tunes off of that You CD. are. Yes. All right. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Um, what now do you have um, this on CD Baby too? Like if somebody wanted instead of a download, like a hard Yes, Copy. Should they email it should you be or? available through CD Baby okay. because I believe the chain of DIY mm -hmm. printing of CDs went directly through CD Baby. Okay, no. However, if you can't find it on CD Baby, you can also go to ChristineSweeney.com 
Okay. And um, you can get in touch with me directly through Perfect. there. So okay. even if they want to email me, I will send it to You'll you. Send it to me. Um, with a handwritten note and everything. Oh, cool. <laughs> and I, you know, I have them at my shows and everything. Actually, speaking of shows, oh yeah, I want to know what else. We're doing up. this really cool show this weekend um, for all you local people at Venetian Shores Beach in Lindenhurst. Oh, oh very nice. Right where I grew up. Oh yeah. There. See, I grew up right around here, mm. a mile away from here. Oh, neat. So, but now I live over on that side. And we're playing at Venetian Shores on Sunday at 5 o'clock. And after us is this great, um, another female-fronted blues band, oh. Sweet Susie and Sugar Fix. Oh, yeah, we know Sweet awesome. Susie. Awesome. Yep. And they're buddies of mine. And uh, so we're performing at 5, and they're performing at around 6 o'clock. Excellent. And we're also playing uh, another great show, which would be a good one to go to, is... Also in Patchogue, mm -hmm. the Brick House. Oh, the Brick House. Oh, yeah. August 9th at 9 o'clock. Wonderful. Yeah, that's you and your band. Yes, both of those shows are my band. Excellent. So, we'll yeah. definitely have to make it out to one of those. Yeah, we, we have cool stuff, you know, starting to happen. And, you know, As you should. New songs. Good. Right, uh, I, mean, I mean, driving home last night, I was just, I started singing a song, and I wrote two verses and a chorus of a song, <laughs> and it just came, boop, it just Same. came out. I hate That's people like you. I don't, no, 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 no. Because you, you write it down. It's just not fair. <laughs> no, but, but it's, it's genuine. Like, I really feel it. You know, I guess no, it's I know just you what do. I'm feeling at the time. I just represent it in musical form, other than talking about my feelings, which is what I should do. But no, <laughs> no why? Because you do then you wouldn't, be making, you wouldn't be making music. That's if you could true. just talk about them. But then, you know, you go back, and like a lot of times I record it on my iPhone. That's good. And I. Um, I listen back to it, and then I'll sing it again, and then I'll add some more things, and I'll sing it again. And I go back, and I try to eventually write it down. It doesn't okay. always make it on paper. But, you know, you go through and you hash out the things that are, you know, bad about it, and you mm -hmm. rewrite. But mostly, a lot of the times when I write, I do improv-type melodies, even if it's one or two lines at a time. That's excellent. That's kind of how I do it. So, Very good. Yep, new one last night. <laughs> what was, do you have a name for it yet? Nope. Top secret. Top, Top secret. secret. Oh my God. No, I just don't know what to call it yet. So yeah. <laughs> we have this song in my band we call the new song, <laughs> but I've since written two songs since we started with that one. Oh, that's so, so funny. it's not new anymore, and I still don't have a title for it. And Mike is furious with me. <laughs> just, just I'm really good at titles. Just leave it the new song. Uh, no, I can't do that. I'm very good. Because I already have a song called the new title. song. <laughs> But they never know what I'm talking about at rehearsal when I go, let's play the new song. He goes, wait, is it the new, new song? Is it Phoenix? Or is it like new song? <laughs> so, yeah. I think that one's going to stay new song. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's great. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come talk to Kevin Burke from Barrel House. <laughs> Eva, one of our four million owners, has her cat insured with Volksam. This one is for you. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. Visit folksum.se and tell us what makes your heart beat faster.
Hey, I'm Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group. You know, soft tissue injury, that's no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. Don't waste valuable time going to firms who don't get it and can't do it. Call 1-800-INJURY-LAW. are moving along to our second artist. Another talented one. Yeah. <laughs> so, what? I, I'm sorry. Kevin. I forgot your name. Kevin. I'm sorry, okay. Kevin. So, Kevin, when did you start playing music? Um, probably almost 40 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm 55 <laughs> and I started when I was 15. 15. You know, learning Kiss songs on an acoustic. <laughs> right? You know how easy that is. Yeah, and not for me. <laughs> And I played electric for about 30 years, and I picked up the acoustic again, and then I saw Toby Walker one night, and mm. I said, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I worked on that almost the last 10 years, just to, uh, trying to pick up anything from acoustic blues. And that's what I've been doing, you know, open tunings, stuff like that. That's awesome. That is very cool. And that CD is the, you know, the culmination of everything that I've, uh, all my influences. Wow. So this just came out in January. In January. Fresh off the hot, hot off the pump. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I love the cover too. And where oh, yeah, were with you the, here? That's that's actually in Clarksdale, Mississippi. That's the house I stayed in. Oh wow. It's a sharecropper shack. Oh, Sharecropper cro cropper shack. Say that yeah. three times fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised that I could say. <laughs> she could. She said. Share proper. Share proper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's very cool. Slow down with those martinis. <laughs> oh, I can't help it now. <laughs> it's green tea, folks. <laughs> it's not martini. <laughs> it's in the glass. One day. One day it will be. <laughs> How long did you stay there her. for? That actually was only one night. You know oh, what? Really? That was you know that was part of a trip um, to Nashville and through oh, Memphis okay. and stuff like that. But it, that was the focal point. And remember how hot it was last week? Yeah. Yes. That's the way it was at night when oh I was goodness. there. I was there in Sounds July. Yeah, uh, there, I hope. Yeah, that's why some of those songs were written, because you couldn't go outside. <laughs> I had to stay in the air conditioner. You had to pretend you were at the beach <laughs> or so bridge across the road. Was that a picture you took? Yes. And you made a cover Beautiful? out of it? That's great. Yes. That's uh -huh. awesome. That's I love great. it. And how would you get your name? Barrel House, um, actually back in... 2000, um, I had a, an original band, oh. Electric, and we were trying to come up with names. At one point, it was Stagger Lee. Uh -huh. We were trying to, call, you know, you Google it. If it had zero results, yeah. you know, as far as somebody had taken, you were safe. Stagger Lee, the story behind him wasn't good. Um, he used to kill people and stuff. Oh. We didn't want... <laughs> We didn't want that name. I didn't want that kind name. of persona. So we saw Barrel House, and Barrel House is where they, they make and store the whiskey. Ah, and uh, uh, the thing that I thought was intriguing, they would also hold the dances there. Instead of transporting the whiskey, they would sell it at the dance. Ah. And there would be, you know, this is all, yeah, you know, history. blues folklore. Yeah, you know, yeah. It I depends on it. who you talk to and what you read. But I love that. It's a good story. But one of the things that intrigued me was they would have one guy who would play the entire night on guitar for the dance. There wouldn't be a backup band. That, in, in my head, that stuck. Yeah. That's what I wanted to That's do. That's what you wanted to do. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. And so is this your first CD or have you yes, done Yes, that's more? my first okay. uh, uh, full-length CD. Mm -hmm. And you have a website, right? Yes, it's uh, BarrelHouseAcousticBlues.com. Great. And where have you been, like, recently? Uh, I I usually do Kaplers. Okay. Um, um, I'm usually one of the monthly acoustic guys. I can't do it on the third, though. I have oh, a... man. <laughs> that would and be somehow funny. I missed the toga party. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Yeah, 
Someone told me that you did that, and I was like, I would love to see Christine and Jim great. in a toga. She looked fabulous. Yeah, no, the picture was awesome. Where's my sunflower <laughs> sheets? Where's my sunflower sheets? <laughs> <laughs> Only I would have sunflower sheets. Of silly course. me. Of course um, would. But we are doing a show together um, with Carl Big Daddy. That Blockfest. Yes. Blockfest, right? That's August 18th. For Save a Pet? Is it? That's that's part of it. Part of it, right? I usually do the hands on the sound for call. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that was June. Yes. Um, that's also save a pet. Is that Port Joe? Yeah, that's uh, right down by the harbor. Right. This particular one's going to be at, in Patchogue at the Fireman's Park. Only because his block party got too big. Too big, right? Well, that's a good thing. Right? <laughs> that's great. It's not a problem. That's no, a good thing. <laughs> it's not. For him, it's going to be August 18th. Right? 18th. Yeah. yeah, and I think you're too. We're in the acoustic tent at twelve oh five. I think you're on like at one or something, right? It's a couple right, one twenty-five. So it's like some that. odd. <laughs> some odd time. Some right? They have to number. cram a lot of people into yeah. a small yeah. amount of time. Those fares are always like that. Get off! Get off! <laughs> Get off. Okay. Okay. I have to credit call because he's the he's one who really. He, in the beginning, he really pushed me when I wanted to do the solo thing. Oh, wonderful! Um, of course, he used to book me at. I remember, do you remember the place, Tailgaters? No. It sounds familiar. In 112 in Montauk Highway. Okay. I'd play at 9 o'clock, and you'd still have the happy hour people there. Uh. And they'd be screaming at the Met game while I was playing. <laughs> oh. Or they were playing Yahtzee, or that there was something hurt. going on. That hurts. Yeah, you know, that was trial by fire, but I, you know, you I know, appreciate that. You know, that's how it got you a little started, because you, yeah. you, you don't have nerves playing, right? Because they're not even paying attention to you. <laughs> right. You just trump, you pretend. That's We've awesome. all been there. Yes, oh, yes. We have all been there. We, we do appreciate oh, those moments. So, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's awesome. So where's your next show then? Tomorrow I, I, I play a private party um, in Mastic Beach. Um, That's great. And um, I have shows in Connecticut. I have shows in um, Pennsylvania. Wow, Pennsylvania. I, um, that one's not till October. There's a uh -huh. thing called Barn Jam. That sounds, uh, that sounds that'll be my, <laughs> that sounds really my fourth year <laughs> really? doing it. Where's this? I, I answered an ad in a Craigslist on the Preven uh, Pennsylvania yeah. listings, uh -huh. and they were looking for pans. So I, I sent them actually a couple of early videos, and he said, come on out. So I did, and that was four years ago. Nice. Oh, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it, that. it's like another planet when you go there, but oh, culturally, but yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's fun. That's okay. Get you playing. Get other people hearing you. One positive thing came from Craigslist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was trolling for something other than <laughs> used know furniture. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> now, what do you do covers as well when you play? I very rarely do covers. Really? Um, I try not to. I mean, I know a bunch of blues covers because I used to go to a lot of blues jams. Mm -hmm. And I usually was the singer for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be anything, uh, Jimmy Rogers, um, Pink Anderson. I like the, the older, obscure guys. Um, it, they're just more genuine to me. Right. than I don't relate to the electric blues that much anymore. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So I really, uh, I, like I mentioned earlier, um, I have a bunch of shows opening for... The band I'm in, the Vagabond Loafers. Oh, right, right. Right, and we have a CD coming out this week. So there'll What's be two. What's that called? It's called From the Outside. And um, being that I'll be already there, I might as well be a, as Barrel House, too. Right, yeah. Um, Why not? Double and I play duty. bass in that band. Oh, that's wow. You're multi talented. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Or they just put up with me. There's one of the others. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely are. We've heard your stuff and we're excited to hear you. So we're going to take a quick break so that we can get started listening yeah. to you guys. And what's going to be your first song? Do you have a first song that you're going to do? Yes, it's called uh, Day at the Beach. Oh, nice. yeah. That's perfect. It, it actually nice. was one of, I call, one of Carl's uh, gigs. Um, he used to have a contractor for kids, which he still oh, does, yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah. But that used to be at Smith's Point Beach. Okay. And I'll give you the very, very short version of it. I used to play with a harmonica player. We got hassled by security. The harmonica player got mad, and he left me there by myself. Oh. So he that's just, the song? He, kind of? 
Yes, that's the whole experience. <laughs> that's a, the song. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think love, about that while you're playing. I love songs with a story. I think it, it just pulls me right in. It's fun. I like to be well, told it, it's like this. Either write a song or somebody's going to die. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's what I move always over. say. Yes. Just and move over a bit. I, I, <laughs> always use, I always like to say, like, there's a lot of men who are alive today because I wrote a song about them instead sure. of killing them. Absolutely. <laughs> and then whenever I say that, the audience goes, oh. You know, <laughs> it, shouldn't, you. it shouldn't be like that. They shouldn't take it that seriously. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Just joke. Yeah. Oh, that's man, funny. That's so funny. All right, so we're going to go to a quick break. We'll be right back. I think this is a good time to tell you. You're doing okay, Mom. I can call you Mom, right? I know we haven't known each other very long, but you seem like a real keeper. You're not perfect. There was that strained carrots incident, but you're trying. You pick up my bottle every time I toss it out of my stroller. That's high comedy to an eight-month-old. You hum the Barber of Seville when you wash my hair. So cool. <laughs> and your rubdowns are out of this world. Anyway, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You know, right? How much I love you? You're doing okay, Mom. Huntington Toyota, the experience of a lifetime. Don't take our word for it. The experience for me at Huntington Toyota made me feel very comfortable. It's their professionalism, their honesty, and their integrity. I've bought at least nine or ten cars here at Huntington Toyota. They give me the best price around. It never was about high pressure. It never was about them. It was always about us. Today's cars are very similar, but Huntington Toyota is very different. Huntington Toyota, where it's all about you. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you throw things. When you throw things, people think you have anger issues. When people think you have anger issues, your schedule clears up. When your schedule clears up, you grow a scraggly beard. When you grow a scraggly beard, you start taking in stray animals. And when you start taking in stray animals, you can't stop taking in stray animals. Stop taking in stray animals. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Welcome back to the Martini Garden Acoustic Cafe Hour, and we are going to listen to Kevin Burke of Barrel House. Yay!
We stand up fine. I see you heading home. No clue to why you're crying when the doctor was a fool. I knew when this they fall, I carry on alone. What's the point of crying when the drama's overblown? The truth is that the spoken with singles at the sun. Visiting and details, plans for years to come. They'll see you one way to get the sent you cut and run. It's like the nine the heartbeat of a gallows wanting drum. I left the comfort of a hobble in the country. Imagine what one to learn. Don't turn out the bus, we're shocking all this good. Standing on the beach with a bird. A rickshaw for you waiting at your beck and call When the cobble's so uneven, but it's called to a call Your reaction to an action, intention led astray It's better to know now that you got the feet of clear Never again, he says, he stamped the sand from his shoes. I'm making payment for someone else's dues. Thank you. That one was a uh, day at the beach. I'd like to do an instrumental. For some reason, I name my instrumentals after places that I've been, after a house rental. And I think it was Maine. This one's called Maine in October.
Thank you. You can imagine they like that one in Pennsylvania at the barn jam. How'd you learn how to do that? That's amazing. Those fingers just go. Here's the real sensitive part. <laughs> uh, these are all these songs that are on the CD that Christine has on the table there. This one's the title track. This is called Feels Like Home. This is actually about that house. <laughs> Myself alone in Mississippi. Two flats and a drop to come in there. Finally found the shacks of hot and pixie. Among the relics of farming in prayer. I knew by the mother's feet there'd be no five star. Or get the pale of mints and not supply. More precious are the vines, kids for the shower. It's not the chicken when I'm talking, so the fried. The visitor would call And sometimes leave a token on the wall Commit a story to a page A final little space In order to grab the fireplace News would strike a call without warning A concept and a seed in rabbit growth Dollars common sense, I heard them whisper In a second I chose to ignore them both From every corner down to here The visitor will call And sometimes leave a token on the wall Commit a story to a page The final little space In order to grab the fireplace Thank you. So we can find these songs on uh, 
CD Baby, CD iTunes. Baby iTunes. If you go to the website, um, great. Barrelhouseacoustic.com. There's there's a awesome. bunch of tags you can click on. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break, okay. and then we're gonna come back with Christine. Okay. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Dad, where do babies come from? Uh, oh, well, there's a, uh, th th there's that big, shiny rocket ship. That's right, it's filled with babies, babies of all kinds. And when the shiny rocket ship penetrates, mommy and dad goes, uh, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and when the time is just oh. right, there's a space launch. All systems go. Babies of all kinds, released all over the place. Yeah, Africa. Uh, well, mommy's baby Landia. That's right, it's filled with babies. After an amazing nine months, babies. And that, son, is where babies come from. But Jake said babies come from planet. Baby Landia. You go, play with us on the bus. So then I said, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm flattered that you love chocolate, but I'm here strictly in a professional. What's wrong with him? He thinks you're naked. My shell is brown. It just looks like my milk chocolate is showing. Only a fool would think I'd actually show up naked. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. Welcome back. My name is Christine Sweeney, and this is my first tune. It's called Book Upon My Shelf. If you were a book upon my 
party lights that we had there that was pretty cool. <laughs> What's the next song? What's the next song? Uh, this is called Saints. I can't pretend to try to talk to you because the mic is on. <laughs> These lights are great, man. When I see the peace of me I wrote that at 7.30 in the morning last week, oh. and I'm never awake at that hour. <laughs> but 
meant to be. So I, you know, I demoed it in my car. Like I said, my my method of writing is iPod, <laughs> iTunes things. I get into my house and I couldn't even record it because uh, the lady upstairs was asleep. <laughs> bummer, right? This last tune is called Phoenix. My band does it actually, so if you want to come see us either Sunday at a Venetian Shores or August 9th at Brick House, that'd be really cool. If you turn off the button, then I will too. If you don't care about me, then will I?